Hello! Welcome back to Pottery by Malika. Today I'm throwing a chip dip platter plate combo. I'm throwing it in two pieces as that it makes it less likely to crack when it's drying. Plates are very prone to cracking while they dry because of the large surface area on the bottom. I also just wanted to be able to use it as a platter separately or as a bowl separately if I wanted to. So I had some flexibility there. So I'd love to know, since I'm making this, what is your favorite kind of dip and what kind of chips do you serve it with? Or maybe you prefer a veggie tray with a special dip. Sometimes I'll do vanilla Greek yogurt mixed with peanut butter, which sounds really weird, but goes amazing with apples. So I may end up doing that. I don't tend to throw a lot of plates and platters, but I had so much fun decorating this one. Uh, that I may end up doing some more because it was a big old surface area and like a large canvas and I really enjoyed making it really pretty. I will be posting that video a little later this week. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that. So to throw a big plate like this, started with a big ball of clay and basically the idea is to smash it flat to start with, which sounds kind of easy, but... I mean, it kind of is, but it's also very, very, very important that it is very even. So that's what a lot of what I'm doing here is I'm spreading it out and making sure it's very flat and even because if it's got high spots and low spots, as it dries, it will be, it'll be cracking a lot more likely to crack. So here I'm going over it with this wooden rib and I do that multiple times just to make sure that it's really, really, really flat because I really don't want this to crack. Once I've gone over it several times, I go over it several times more because I just need to make sure that it's really, really, really flat and even. So at this point, it's not very impressive. It just looks like a big old disc of clay, a very flat disc of clay. And you may be wondering why it looks so dang boring. But once I pull up the sides, it starts to actually take shape and you can see what the final product will look like. Now there's a lot of ways to do this edge. I could have pulled it out more, could have made it kind of wavy. I wanted to keep this one simple and straightforward and focus more on the decoration and the carvings that I did to it later. So I just kept the shape pretty straight up and down, pretty simple, just a little bit of a flare to it. And here I made sure that the the lip of it was even. Don't want that to be don't want that to be wobbly and messy looking. So just smoothing that out, making sure everything's nice and even and smooth and flat. And that's the whole platter. Then I'm throwing the little bowl thing that goes on top. And for this, I decided to mirror the shape of the platter. I just thought that would look really nice together. So I did that with the decoration as well. They they go together in shape and in, and in how I decorated them. And I thought that would look really nice. So for this, I basically follow the same, the same steps. I'm just doing it a lot smaller. So right now it's pretty vertical. And then I even out the walls, make sure the bottom's nice and flat. Even a smaller, flatter bowl like this is more likely to crack than a more vertical bowl with a smaller base. And so I want to make sure that it's very even on the bottom. It will crack at any given opportunity, so I want to make sure that it's good. So just pull up those walls and even them out again like I did with the bigger platter. And that's it. It's all done. And make sure you keep an eye out for the decoration video coming in a couple days.